Hey, how are you doing, Lieutenant? Kaufman? Yeah, I'm good. What are you doing? Just taking some pictures and video. Okay. What are you guys doing out here? Nothing. Nothing? Nothing, says the lieutenant in the Murfreesboro, Tennessee Sheriff's Department. But the non-answer is better than most of the reactions from the officers doing SWAT training on a public parking lot. This guy, with his finger on an assault weapon, approached Long Island Audit Sean Paul Reyes like Reyes was an unleashed animal. Apparently they're doing some training. I don't know if he's whistling for me, but I'm not a dog, so... Yeah, apparently he was... Hey, how are you? Good, how are you? Are you a sheriff's deputy? I am, can I help you? Uh, can I get your name? No. What no, I can't get your name? We're doing some closed training, okay? Closed training? Yes, in, sir. in public? We're doing some closed training, all right? Closed training in public? Yes. We're doing some closed training. Okay, can I get your name? Not at this moment, no. Why would that be? Is it not your policy to identify yourself? Look, friend, we're trying to do some training, okay? I understand that. Here? I'm just trying to ask you what your name is, Why are you so, so here? I know who I'm talking to. Why are you here? Can I get your name, Deputy? Why are you here? Can I get your name or can I speak to a supervisor? My supervisor over there. Your supervisor's over here? My name is Sergeant Hooker. Okay, thank you. That's that's all I wanted to know was your name. And that's I would it. like to know what, what you're doing and why you're here. I'm taking some pictures and video. Okay, why? I don't want to, I don't, I don't I have a right to. Just taking some pictures and video in public. Why are you doing that? Why am I doing it? I just told you, I just told you, I have a right to. I just told you, I have a right to. Why are you doing that, Teddy? Why are you dressed in uh, military gear? Not dressed in military gear. This it looks like it. Gear. Not dressed in military gear. This is law enforcement gear, he says. When do you ever need that kind of stuff? Are you part of SWAT? You would be surprised. When, when would you ever need a vehicle like that? To rescue people. That's why it's to rescue, rescue on the side of it. Rescue people? Yeah, we rescued more than one. Okay, great. That's good. All right. Yeah. That's pretty good. I don't see why you guys would need all that. Unless you're, you're, you're part of SWAT? I'm saying. Oh, okay, gotcha. Up walked Lieutenant yeah, Kaufman. Kaufman? Yeah, I'm good. What are you doing? Just taking some pictures and video. Okay. What are you guys doing out here? Nothing. Nothing? Just hanging out? Yeah. Okay. That's cool. The sheriff's deputies, with their trigger fingers at the ready, stepped away. Then, a Murfreesboro police officer, not part of the SWAT training, stepped forward. How you doing, officer? Hey, how you doing? Can I help you with anything? Uh, no. Can I just get your name and badge number? For what? Just so I know who I'm speaking to. This is Officer Todd. It's written right there. Officer Todd? Yeah. Okay. What you need? Oh, nothing. I don't Are need you anything. Are for a newscast, or what are you doing? Oh, I'm just taking some pictures and video in public. Okay. That's all. Yeah. It's uh, within your right, but I'm just wondering why you're out here. Finally, it's within your right, says a law enforcement officer. But just wondering why you are out here. Yeah, no, just taking some pictures and video. Okay. That's it. I understand. That's all. Looks like they got some training operation going on here. I don't know. It could be. Police officer Todd calmly looked on as Reyes continued filming in the public parking lot. Then the SWAT team, now educated on the Constitution, packed up for the day. Apparently they're doing some uh, some training exercises here. All right, well, right next to the city hall, they tried to get the... Uh, police department here to make contact with me and you know but he apparently knows that it's my right to film in public it's our right to film in public and that's what we're doing that's it I just thought it was interesting that they uh, were wearing all this uh, gear and had some heavy artillery hey how you doing today huh? you doing good you, you doing good? I'm good, man. Good to okay, you. thank you. Stay safe. A polite and friendly exchange. And thankfully, there were others here in Murfreesboro. Earlier, Auditor Reyes filmed inside City Hall. Hi, how are you? Yeah, good. How are you? Are you taking pictures? Yeah. Without, I mean, could you get permission to do that? Oh, whose permission would I need? You had to get the mayor and... I mean, you're taking people's pictures and, and they don't know what you're doing. Oh, I'm only taking pictures in public. 
what I'm doing. Of? Of the building. Well, uh, I mean, you have people sitting there. Usually we're notified when people are in here taking pictures. And... Oh, yeah, no, I'm just, I'm just coming in taking pictures in public. That's all. Regina, a public employee supervisor, seems a bit confused, but she stays calm. One of my uh, ladies was like, this man is out there taking pictures of us. And yeah, I mean, you could, you could, her. you could, yeah, you could let her know that she works in a public building and yeah, she's now, a pub, and she's a public employee. <laughs> we know that we're public employees. Yeah, and in a public building, there's no expectation of privacy. For example, the, there's a camera right above your head. Oh, I didn't, I, know, I didn't I'm give, aware of I didn't, the I didn't give permission to, to be recorded either. You know what <laughs> oh, I mean? Okay, yeah. But. I can't complain about it because I'm yeah. in public. That's mm -hmm. all. Okay. Do you mind if I get your name? Um, the name is Regina. Regina. One of my ladies were concerned about it. Okay. Are you a supervisor for? I am. Okay. That's the reason I just wanted I came to know. Out. I just yeah. wanted to know who I was talking to. Yeah. All right, Regina. Mm -hmm. Well, thank you. All right. You will. I appreciate it. Thanks. All right. Next up, okay. two Murfreesboro police at the security desk. You like the art? Yeah. It's very nice. We got a lot of it out here. <laughs> the kids. The kids did it from from local schools here. From local schools. Yeah. Okay, that's cool. Hey Troy. Hey, what's up, guys? The conversation is engaging, polite, and respectful. The last one was one particular guy. He, it was like his life work throughout all the years, and um, pretty neat, man. And and like that six different countries. I've never yes. been to a city hall that did that, so really, that's something cool to see. Yeah. <laughs> Take care. Reyes then spoke to a clerk who handles public record requests. Joshua? Yes. Hi, sir. How are you? Doing well. I'm just looking to do an open records request. Okay. Um, so this is the form. Is there a pen out there? I don't see. Um, you got a copy of the Tennessee driver's license? Under Tennessee law, state residents have a right to records. Public officials, though, can use their discretion in responding to requests from everybody else. I'm not a citizen of Tennessee, so I don't I might not have a right to, but you still have the ability to provide the public records. Are you denying those public records that I'm on a request? If you want to fill out a form, we will follow our public records policy and we'll either approve or deny it based on that. Okay. I, I hope you'll just err on the side of transparency. That's all. All right. Thank you, sir. No problem. Appreciate it. Have a good day. Again, the conversation both ways was respectful. In the end, the local officials denied Long Island Audit's records request on the grounds that Sean Paul Reyes is not a Tennessee resident. The decision, in my view, was unfortunate. Still, at least Tennessee authorities were not jerks about it. In fact, other than some of the sheriff's SWAT team members, the police and public officials in Murfreesboro were hospitable and polite, and they respected First Amendment rights. That is the goal. Kudos to the fearless auditors like Sean Paul Reyes and others. Public officials and law enforcement officers don't have to like being recorded or filmed, but they must respect the Constitution for all of us, and being decent about it is a welcome change. I'm David Schuster. Thanks for joining us.